What three things can you start doing today to grow past the average and mediocre? Stay tuned and find out. Okay, here's the question. How are we dark horses? You know, the ones everyone is betting against, the ones they don't expect to win, place, or even show on the track, and they'll even laugh on us when we talk about trying. How do we show the world our greatness and triumph? Come on. Well, that's the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. This is The Dark Horse Entrepreneur. My name is Tracy Brinkman. Push it up. What is up? What is up? What is up, my Dark Horse friends and family? Welcome back to your ongoing dose of Beyond Mediocre Learning. I'm your Dark Horse host, Tracy Brinkman. And you? Well, that's infinitely more important. You, my friend, are a driven entrepreneur or one in the making. Either way, you're here because you're ready to start, restart, kickstart, just start leveling up with some great marketing, personal or business tips and results in order to build that beautiful business of yours into the empire. It absolutely deserves to be. That's why I'm here hitting you with yet another solo success episode coming to you straight from the Dark Horse HQ as we dive deep into success with actionable advice tips and steps designed to help you level up your game, your business game, your personal game, your spiritual game, your mindset game. Because as we already know, there are no shortcuts to success except for taking those little steps towards goal every single day. And hey, here's a step you can take right now if you're getting value from this podcast and you're you're getting value from the podcast, right? I, I feel you nodding your head. I can feel you across the digital sphere nodding your head. Well, if you are getting that value, uh, please go on down there. Hit that subscribe button. While you're there, leave us a five-star rating and drop us some kind words in the reviews. Heck, ask questions, leave commentary, leave suggestions. I read every, every single one of those re- reviews. But beyond that, it is those subscribes, ratings, and reviews that are your way of telling those podcast platforms out there there that you're liking this shit you're getting some value so that they'll lift us up a little bit in the rankings and we can reach more driven entrepreneurs just like yourself so please take a moment show the love and let's spread the word all right so entrepreneurial in the digital space you know i think it's uh, what were this what are the statistics after this some five billion people are out there using the internet every day that number has probably even risen given the uh, the events of the past year 2020 and uh, being locked down with covid and everything social media users millions and millions of there you know we all have our cell phones and that number just keeps growing and it is this this access to the internet that really has, enabled so many people to create uh, online businesses and lifestyles and, and deliver content and products and services to the consumers out there far easier than, than ever before. It's a lot easier to read your prospects, right? To reach out them, to target them. Uh, whether you're using paid or organic strategies, the your ability to reach out and tap your prospect on the shoulder and get their attention and get them to go, oh, okay, I kind of like this guy or this gal. Uh, the, the, the key, though, in all of these opportunities is you've got to stand out from the noise. Because let's be honest, we all, you know, cruising our social media, reading our emails, we are inundated with advertising and sales offers and opportunities and people are sliding into your DMs and hey, do you mind if we jump on a call, right? Yeah, right. I can feel you. You're in on this. So if you're wanting to use the digital space or using a digital space to create a business that gives you your life of freedom, right? You're going to have to rise above the average, rise above the mediocrity, rise above the sleaze even, and stand out and stand above the noise and show those folks that you're tapping on the shoulder why you are good at what you do, why you are the leader in your industry. Uh, even if they don't know who you are, just tell them, this is why you need to be paying attention to me. 
And so I want to drop on you some strategies here, three little strategies that you can use to grow, but you can do this by showing up as you. And you know, you've heard me more than one episode of this podcast. I'm all about showing up as yourself, being you. That's going to draw your audience and inside of that, your tribe, because you'll be showing up authentically and people register that really fast and it's a whole lot easier to engage the people you really want to do business with when you do that and that my friend is really the core path that is the four lane eight lane highway to freedom when it comes to business and revenue and success in your life all right so the first one i want to talk about and man we've seen this so many times you want to let's let's pause and be ourselves again, right? I know I'm repeating myself. And take the time to impress our prospects, our clients, our fa- our raving fans, our new fans by focusing on the content instead of all the damn flashy ass imagery, right? Uh, who cares if you're standing next to the Porsche or the Lamborghini or whatever vehicle they happen to be standing next to or in or in the plane or sitting in the leather seats or standing outside the mansion. I get it. You're making money. You're successful. Right on. More power to you. But how does that help me? Right. And I know you're trying to sell me some package that's going to help me live the same lifestyle. But what if I don't want to be on a private jet? What if I don't give a damn about the mansion? What if I just want to connect with someone that's real, that can really sincerely care enough to pay attention to me and help me solve my problem, right? And that's what business is, is solving a problem, seeing a problem, seeing a void, which is also a problem, and filling it for your prospect, for your client, and for the consumer. So, what do you suggest, Tracy? Well, my suggestion to you is to stand above the noise. Stand up, throw your shoulders back, put your chin up, right? And stand above the noise and impress your prospects when you tap them on the shoulder with some value-first content. Bring the value first. One of the best ways to add value, my friends, is through solid information focused content that solves pain points and delivers some practical thoughts, some advice, some tips, some techniques that they can walk away with and go, well, damn, if this is what he's giving on his social media, or this is what he's given in his podcast, like the Dark Horse Entrepreneur, for example, and this is what he's given in his free PDF or free video that he's given out, and all I do is give him my email, Man, what is in his paid content? You know what I'm talking about? These digital channels that we all are afforded really give us the opportunity to contribute value consistently. So your goal should be to use these digital channels to help your prospects, to help your clients, to help whoever comes across your content by demonstrating the very expertise you're trying to sell. So if you do that, it's really not hard to stand above the noise if you focus on that value first content. And one of the pieces of content you can add into that is going to be this next strategy here is um, what we're going to call this lifestyle marketing, right? I'm going to call it behind the scenes, right? And, and give it a clear purpose. Um, pull back the curtain. Show the real you. Show that, you know what? I don't have a podcast studio. I have my laptop, my microphone sitting here, in my example, in my KISS room. I have a room where my KISS collection is at, my drum set is at, and also serves as my podcast studio, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I know of some folks making bank with their podcast that are still doing their podcast in a closet just because the acoustics are right. They're still serving their customers from their apartment and their podcast studio is their closet. And they're not ashamed to show that because they're real people. Pull back the curtain. Show your prospects, your clients, your customers um, how you're building your business. Take them on the journey with you. Um, I think the one caveat, the one 
co- word, not caveat, but the one word of caution we can drop here is that if your end game with your business is to sell it, you want to be cautious about making it all reliant on you, right? You want to make it reliant on the business. So you can pull back the curtain and show how the business is being built, the processes you're showing, how you're coming up with the ideas, how you're doing it yourself or having someone do it for you that way when it comes time to sell it those videos are still relevant they're not all about well here's me and it's all about me and 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 me this and me that does that make sense but this comes back to the authenticity uh, being yourself right and one of the easiest ways to teach someone uh, what's going on and how to do something is by showing them how you're doing it so you pull back the curtain who cares about the big green face I and mean, of course that's my um hint to the wizard of oz show the machinery it's it, it's okay show them the tips show them the tools that you're using focus on topics and solving the pain points versus like we were talking about earlier trying to paint some flashy picture of a lifestyle that you're still striving to attain i think if you do this man one of the one of the greatest things that'll happen is you'll separate yourself from the others they're the using that on well, i know it's effective don't get me wrong that's why they keep using it but it's kind of schmarmy isn't it you you know you almost feel like you need a shower after you experience it anyway and i think lastly Let's not forget about the fulfillment. Man, how many times have you or you've seen others um, get frustrated because they fell victim or they, let's not say fell victim, right? They fell, they took action as a result of all that flashy imagery and the great copy that they're reading and the, the amazing video or the spokesperson or the webinar or the podcast episode, whatever tactic that was being used. But when it came to the rest of the customer experiments, uh, experience, it was like, wah, wah, wah. It was flat. It was almost non-existent. Like, really? You spent all that time and money and effort on creating this amazing sales front end and no time and no effort and no money on the fulfillment because let me tell you what if i get you in the door and i bomb out on my fulfillment to my promises i don't care how flashy those promises were if i do not deliver on those promises you don't remember all the amazing flash and imagery and videos and spokesmen no you know you don't remember any of that what you remember is i failed you and i suck right? So the next time I show you or I email you, you're going to be like, yeah, right. Like you delivered on the last one, right? So you want to be focused. You want it to be your primary goal to over deliver on what you promised each and every one of those prospects that took you up on your offer. You need to have systems and processes and teams and technology in place to make sure you make sure that your customer's experience is beyond amazing they're gonna be like wow i only paid whatever you paid or you charged them for this oh, this is amazing it's worth triple that right your goal is to make the fulfillment so much better than the marketing was right that my friend (laughs) that is how you start creating that word of mouth marketing and get those customers to keep coming back to you credit card in hand cash in hand ready to just here take my money please there are a handful of providers out there vendors people businesses that if they come up with a new product i'm about 95 percent sure i'm gonna buy it just because I've always had such an amazing experience with them and their products and how I can use them in my life or in my business, that if they come up with the next new version, I'm like, oh, here, take it. Thank you. Right? So that's the kind of business model you want to be setting up. So 
be sure to focus on that fulfillment and let's focus on that customer service too because let's be honest right we're going to stumble we're going to bumble we're going to trip we're going to fall some email is going to fail some system or process is going to snap for a minute and the one two five ten customers that fall within to that crack right there you're going to want to be able to service them get them back up make them happy and say all right Right. It, it, it didn't work the way he thought it was going to or the way he shot. She thought it was going to, but they fixed it and they fixed it fast and they made me happy and they over delivered. See that that's magic right there. See, nothing's stopping you, my friends, from building some amazing business online, offline, bricks and mortar, whatever to bring you whatever level of financial security and freedom that you dream of. But. Again, let's not focus on all those, oh man, how many revenue screenshots have we seen, right? Let's forget about those quote unquote, uh, fake lifestyle shots, those manufactured, right? Those enhanced lifestyle shots. They look great on social media, but please don't fall for the hype and don't use that hype to engage your customer. Be authentic. Be you right? You're a dark horse. That's why you're here. You're going to win that race. And man, horses are beautiful as they're running, aren't they? All right. Be that dark horse entrepreneur that makes the different, uh, the difference. <laughs> I stumbled over my lips or my, my eye teeth tripped over my tongue and I couldn't see what I was saying. Be that dark horse entrepreneur that makes the difference. Use these strategies I've mentioned here to le and, and, and leverage them. Use them to your advantage and watch your impact and your income increase. All right, y'all. What another great week here at the Dark Horse HQ. So I'm gonna, just going to kind of leave you with that right there and wish you a great weekend. I'm going to leave you as I always do. Think successfully and take action. Thank you for listening to the Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast. How do you know this? Thanks for tuning in. Check us out at www.darkhorseschooling.com. All right. My name is Tracy Brinkman. Hey.